You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Vampire Diaries After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Vampire Diaries After Show. Yo, what up, After Buzzes? Sexy. How serious, how dramatic. Oh, I love it, because right. you know what it is that dramatic. It's sh show enough show was. Mm. I love me some good Christian rock. <laughs> Nickelback, right? What, it is, right? What, what is, is this? What are we listening to? I don't know. Is this, this isn't, the, is this the theme song? No. To what? This is the theme song. Vampire Diaries? To, to Vampire Diaries? Hey, it's fine, it works, it sounds sexy, it works. I like it. <laughs> I feel like Damon's gonna come out just half naked, just wearing a leather jacket. Absolutely. And you know what? Vampire Diaries is rough and naughty, and it's back, people. It after, what, is. Six months? Ah, it's back with a vengeance. And w we are here in the AfterBuzz TV studios. Bing is for doing, and we are doing Vampire Diaries, the after show, hard. season four, episode one, Growing Pains. Doing it hard. Growing Pains. And we missed you guys. Mm -hmm. And boy, I mean, from the rain here tonight, blackouts to, I mean, just DVR issues. Issues, we were scared that we weren't going to come and give you guys the full after show, but we did it. You know what, Jesse? I was not scared. You knew you know? we were. <laughs> I knew that. I was frightened for my life. I knew that Vampire was Diaries would pull through and we would see our episode. We shouted. We put, we're like we're like Bonnie in this bitch. We, we are like <laughs> freaking went through hell to watch this entire we episode. Okay, let's did. just put that out there, okay? We did put that, we did get the power Actually, we, we came on, on time. We right in on time. Pretty, pretty good. It's pretty awesome. So, All yay! Right. Let's, let's get into it. But who the hell are we? Should we introduce ourselves? <laughs> yes, I'm DJ Jesse Janity, and I'm joined back with my lovely, my favorite, this is my, one of my favorite after Buzz show to do. Oh, I love because it. Because I just love us. Uh -huh. I do too. And I want to welcome, <laughs> ladies first, David Skifalitti <laughs> is back. I'm back. Hey, lady. <laughs> if you guys are listening to us on <laughs> iTunes, <laughs> watch us on YouTube. Because Well, for after you subscribe and download, watch us on YouTube. David's uh, giving us the... The J. Crew hair I'm slick. Giving you like a, He's yeah, got more powder some. on than I do. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> ah, it's hot in here. And then we have the one, the only, the hilarious Brittany Brower. Hi, guys. I'm very excited. I can't believe it's been six months and we're back here in these seats. Yes, we are. And we have so much to talk about. Uh, Let's talk about the first 10 minutes. Ah! <laughs> Let's talk I, like, I feel like we need to explain to everybody what happened to us. We did. First of all, the first 10 minutes was not recorded for us. Because of our blackout It was issues here. here. It's, it's raining in L.A., and L.A. does not know how to handle the rain. And we missed the first 10 minutes, so we like started, and we were like, wait, what? What happened? Elena woke up. I mean, it's the first rain of 2012 in L.A. Yeah. Exactly. That's and true. it's October. And I mean, this is six <laughs> months after Elena wakes up and is a vampire, and we need to know the T, and we got it. We did get it after some very confused, stressful times. And I in don't want to. I don't want to promote it, which I do, but. <laughs> Don't TV pirating. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It. No, Don't thank you. It. We would have been screwed. All right. We would have been screwed. Actually, you know what I was thinking? I was like, where is Afterbus TV when we need it? Because we need to know what happened in the first That's true. Minutes. And I thought, where's Afterbus? And we thank need God. the pre pre so if you yeah. are, after show. <laughs> if you're anywhere and you need to know what's going on now with Vampire Diaries episode one of season, season four, four. Uh, we've got it right here for you. We so. sure do. We made sure that we had it. 
thank you AfterBuzz, thank you Bing because we are doing it, and we thank you us. Here we go. Let's do First it. First ten minutes, Elena wakes up in her bed with Stefan and Damon by her side. After we know, was she... that her bed? That was her bed. That was her yes. Bed. I got a little confused. Um, <laughs> Damon's pissed that. Damon's Stephen. always pissed. He is, but I mean, wouldn't you be pissed? The love of your life told you, you know, you're you think you're about to die, and the love of your life's like, <gasps> I'm gonna go back and see Stefan. But he doesn't know it yet that she chose Stefan. No, Damon no, did. Yeah, uh, Damon the, did on the last oh, episode. Oh, okay. So sorry, guys. And remember, he thought he was gonna die, and they're wait. Both of them are waiting to die because they think that's Klaus right. Is dead. That's right. You're right. Sorry. And then, the, and then on right. top of it, you know, he's. Kind of like, now you're going to be a vampire. This isn't what you wanted for your life. And we find out how serious Damon was. Because now Elaine is remembering her, everything she was compelled. And she remembers that one uh, instance with Damon in her bedroom. And he gives her the locket. Mm Mm-hmm. And what did you think of that? I thought that was like... I thought it was beautiful. It really was beautiful. I like for... It's like, it's hard sometimes to remember how romantic and... Charming. Amazingly loving Damon, Damon really is. Well, That's guys, true. if you follow After Buzz, and I'm sure you guys all do that's listening, you know how obsessed I am with Damon. Like, I've always been a Damon fan. Mm-hmm. I love Stefan. I think he's at sweet home, like, mm, yum, yummy. But no, <laughs> Stefan, I mean, Damon is just like the one that, you know, I, oh, I feel so you. gorgeous. I and he, like, you. it's that lust, it's that passion. It's like Stefan's at home. But Damon is passion. And mm. so when she goes back and she's becoming a vampire and she can actually, her memory is going through all the things when she was, you know, um, compelled. Compelled, thank you very much. She's seeing things that she didn't even know she had in her memory. And right. so, I mean, that's got to have some kind of impact on what she's feeling for Damon. Well, it. but I mean, I, I mean, if we also remember uh, the last episode uh, of last season, Damon says one of my favorite quotes, and I actually, I think I tweeted it or Facebooked it today. Um, but he says, to her, she says, well, what kind of love do you think I'm looking for? And, oh, damn it, I can't remember exactly. He says, he said, you want a love that consumes. He said, that uh, yeah. is loving, but at the same time, a little bit, that's passionate, but at the same time, a little bit dangerous. I remember that so much from last season. Like and it was so true. That. It is true. Well, it's that true. is true. It's kind of like a seeing a psychic. It's like they kind of tell you something that everyone, it's very general. But I mean, that is... They've done a great show with that whenever is Damon. Damon. That is exactly right. Damon. And they've done a really great show um, thing with the show with when Damon talked and professes his love to Elena, I'm hooked. I'm like, okay, I'm sold. Right? And then when Stefan does it, I'm like, Okay, I get it too. So I really, I feel like I'm Elena. But do you feel torn. like, <laughs> do you feel you like Elena. we listen more with Damon because he's so he doesn't always give us what Stefan does. Stefan always gives us the romance, and you know Stefan's always going to be there. Damon's kind of iffy, so it's but like he hasn't when he always. does, he's Stefan's done his little bad boy side too, and he completely turned bad. One we always, time, we knew he was going to come back. Exactly. I'm, I mean, I know. I Are know. you saying that like, do you? We w- like want to believe Damon more because it happens so infrequently. Yes, it's almost guys, like that. It's guys, almost like guys, that. Guys, let me tell you what. It's like let girls who are the fixer uppers. We all want it. It doesn't matter if you're a guy, a girl, a gay. We all want this. We want that bad guy <laughs> that's like the hot guy that's like the bad boy that you know screws every other girl or guy over. But you're the one. Right. That's you're the to one make them settle that down. that makes that that will change his whole entire world and change your whole entire world. And that's what Damon is. Damon's that bad guy that as bad as he is, he would do anything for her, and it's so hot. He would kill for her, cheat for her, steal. He would do anything in his yeah. whole entire power to make sure she was okay, where Stefan will do the same in a sense, but he will also listen to her and do whatever her wishes are. But Damon has that instinct to him, like, I don't care what you say. I don't care if you tell me to save this person or this person or do this that's right. I'm going to do whatever will keep you alive because I'm that in love with you. It's like, it's so powerful. It, well, I mean, here's what he said. He said, um, he loves her. I don't deserve you. Stefan does. And I can't be selfish with you. And that's exactly, you know what I mean? It fits in the same thing. It's just like, 
hearts melting and just there you go Damon you have it I don't know I just love Steph and I feel like I couldn't see Elena and Damon sitting on top of you know the last scene was them sitting on the rooftop I can't picture her and Damon like sitting on the rooftop like chilling I could really I feel like they're more bad like they'd be driving in a car and having a romantic moment or I just don't see like the sun rising with Damon because you forget that Damon I mean we saw a lot of Damon in the past last season Mm -hmm. um Damon wasn't always this bad boy that we know now so you're thinking maybe we're gonna see the well we're not in the predictions yet but she just became a vampire. All right, all right. So, so let's yeah. let's go happen. into the next part. Um, Elena starts freaking out. Says, "I can't be a vampire," um, which is interesting. Seeing her kind of grow throughout this one episode. She says she can't be a vampire. Um, her and Stefan end up getting captured by Pastor Young, who's just on a rampage. <laughs> Just shooting everybody down and capturing everybody. This man's gangster, a gangster priest. Gangster I love priest. the him and his whole posse just came up all of a sudden. I feel like they came out of nowhere. I, I did too. Where they? Where were them. they? I mean, I know that he's may have made a cameo or whatever, but I'm saying like, where? There's been a lot of situations that have gone down in <laughs> well, Mystic again, Falls. Many of them. Again, many of like events. we've and always we said, never seen Pastor Young before. And now he is just out and about. And he knows everybody. Everybody uh, knows him. Everybody. <laughs> I don't ever see anybody go to church. Well, and Pastor Young knows everybody's business. Um, wow. Here's a little uh, a little tip that uh, Pastor Young is going to have something to do with uh, Elena. Obviously, we learned that he knew the, the parents. Um, I know he has a daughter named April. Which we're gonna uh, meet. We're gonna meet uh, this season. April. That was just a spoiler alert. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. And of course, April will know everyone in town. By oh yeah, the way. April's April's at school. It, she does. Which, but this is what we do with them. We <laughs> love vampire diaries because we just go with it. April, I know. There April are some will, things you just gotta go with it. April will be leading the Mystic Falls prom dance. <laughs> <laughs> Her and Caroline she's are gonna, gonna get gonna into it. She's gonna be like the head of the. She's gonna be cheerleading. Whatever. Oh, I love the show so much. I but, mean, I can't so Pastor that. Young is a vampire hunter. He hates vampires. He's on a vengeance against them. Um, and he just goes buck wild, captures Elena Stefan, captures Caroline. I mean, what did you think of the whole Caroline uh, Klaus slash Tyler situation? They're like naked in the woods and... Uh, oh, not he's, naked yet, right? Well, they're getting, getting there. Getting there. Yeah. He, he calls her love and that kind of gives her like... Oh, man, you're... Yeah, Tyler never says love. Right. Only that English prick does. I mean, it was like a little convenient. For she was real smart. If someone just called me love, I'd go with it. I, yeah. I didn't, you know, I was like, oh, wow, she's real quick to think of that. And it was interesting because, I mean, obviously it's kind of hot. You think your boyfriend's dead. He rips open a van that you're captured and saves you and brings you to the woods. Uh, but kind of shady now... on Close's side to not save Sorry. Rebecca. But why... Does he save Caroline? That's where why I'm confused. Like, oh, why well, we he... went with last season. I mean, he is... he's in love with her. Yes, he's got a very soft spot for for. I do think yeah. that, but do you also think maybe a little added to that is the fact that he didn't want to give away that he was close. You know what I mean? Because if it mm-hmm. w- he's playing the role of Tyler, he said to Bonnie, "Don't you tell anybody. This is between us." Oh, right, because nobody knows. And Tyler would obviously go save Caroline. Right, but he, he was definitely taking no. full advantage of full advantage of mm-hmm. knowing, you know, he's it was thinking her. And he the is, has, he's always had a huge crush on on Caroline. So of course he's, I think that was like an extra little a little bonus. Does he call Rebecca's sister? Yes. When he he does right. Right when uh, he pushed Caroline away, he said, "You'll be good, sister." And then that's when she was like, "What? What's going on?" But I mean, at that point, Rebecca is still like crazy in the head so I don't know if she really caught it then I think right. she did but she doesn't really know what the, what's going on um, I do like how Pastor Young professed his entire plan to Elena <laughs> like all villains right before they die he's like I'm gonna use you to get the Salvatore brothers right. and Rebecca to get all the originals and then you're gonna bring me the white one <laughs> steak and I'm gonna kill everybody <laughs> 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 And, oh, uh, you know, you. just like that. It was just, <laughs> actually, you look just like him thank just you, then. That was amazing. <laughs> one, one little speak. Since we're laughing, let's just bring it up. The comment uh, right before Stefan and Elena get captured, uh, they're sitting in the um, kitchen. In the kitchen, and Elena brings up her little joke. 
because she's such a comedian. And she says, he says, whoa, what's going to happen? You're going to have to make a choice. You're either going to die or you're going to become a vampire. She's like, well, we'll cross that bridge when we, <laughs> when we come to it. I can't believe I just said we'll cross, cross that, that bridge. bridge. <laughs> Really? Bye, Fel- bye, Felicia. To that one. You're about Ooh, to Felicia. die. <laughs> that is just what we say when something just makes. That's just no bad writing. Sense. Okay, let's put it out there. That is bad. I can't believe I writing. just said cross that bridge. <laughs> I bet you anything. And if Emily was here, I feel like she would agree with me. That is one of those moments that they're in the writers' room. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. They've been up all night, and they're like, "We'll cross that bridge when we get there." Oh, that's fun. Let's just <laughs> use that, guys. I'm tired. Just put it in. I'm tired of that. I haven't seen my wife in three days. Let's just write that line in. (laughs) Just put it in. It's good. It's good. I'm over that bridge. I don't want them to bring this bridge. (laughs) If I see another flashback to the parents or to her dying there, like this bridge just happens to be like a memorial. Let's just put a rock there. The actual bridge. Now we're making jokes about it. I'm over the bridge. Yeah. I'm over it. Well, hopefully now that. On my way to grandmother's house. (laughs) Through the woods. Could someone finally just cross the goddamn bridge? (laughs) Without dying, um, hopefully now that now that Elena's transitioned or transitioning, um, the stories will start to move forward and stop focusing so much on the past. Well, one thing I can definitely say about this episode and that and Elena being a vampire is, I'm excited where the show is going to go because for Me the too. past three seasons. It's all been on keeping her alive. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything. So many people have died. So many people have changed species. <laughs> so many people have done so much. <laughs> like that you call become it ghosts. That's great. <laughs> exactly. To to keep her alive. So I am very excited to see her be a vampire. Yeah. And now it's not going to be about keeping her alive anymore. Problem solved. Well, well, and I'm excited to talk She's about dead. that in predictions because <laughs> I want to throw an idea at you. I randomly was thinking about this last night. I don't know why it just popped in my head. Uh, and I do want to talk about in predictions because we didn't get to do a preview episode here at After Buzz. No. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of add that in predictions. Okay. Um, so the council has Caroline, Rebecca, Tyler saves her. Um, and now the priest has Elaine in the cabin. Elena's like going through it. Like the she's just change like, of life. She's just like grabbing her face, playing with her teeth. I mean, even to the beginning of the episode where she's like breaking light bulbs and She's like crackhead. Yeah. So all the vampires now are locked up in the cattle cages, which they can't break out of for some Well, someone w- they have the Vervain. Someone Ravain. was talking about like steel and yep. like, Well, they put Vervain in there, right? mist. Yep. <laughs> right. That's what it was. It's, it's really like, good for you know when face. it's hot out and you walk by a restaurant and there's like mist. There's vervain mist. And they put vervain in the mist. Apparently. You know what I'm talking I about, right? I know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> yes, he's like whatever. No. Jay, Miami and South Beach. Yeah, yeah, no, I do know. All those restaurants have that mist that shoots right out outside because you know they just have those hooked up in the cattle ranch. <laughs> yeah, maybe the cows Vervain. get hot. Um, maybe cows get while hot. While this is happening, Matt and Dame, Damon's going through it with Matt, thinking this is all Matt's fault. Uh, kind of taking it out on poor Matt. I mean, we always talk about Matt being just like the butt of every situation. Poor Matt's going through. He almost died. Now he's like, well, I feel like it's my fault because Damon's putting it in his head that it's his fault. I mean, you were dying. It's not like... I love it. And, like, Matt didn't do anything. Rebecca forced his car to go over a bridge. Right. Give the guy a break. Well, I think they were looking at it more on the side. Like, you drugged Elena. You were driving her out of the... Even though they were trying to save her, right? But, but still, Damon, they never. Damon never thinks that way. It's you no. did something. He's besides, selfish against my Ride permission because I'm obsessed Ride. with Literally. her. Ride or die. Ride or die. And that's how we like them <laughs> here at After Buzz. Um, well, I can't wait to get in the whole Bonnie thing. Well, so let's talk about that. Uh, you know, so while they're locked up, then we have Bonnie, who this poor girl is just. I mean, she's got. She's lost everybody. That's her own damn fault. I don't feel for Bonnie. Why don't Please. you feel for Bonnie? Because she made her bed. Now she's got a lie in it. She could have, at the beginning, stayed out of everybody's business 
and been fine. But why? And she's her grandma f- wouldn't have died. Wait, but why, and, like, why, why, why are you saying this? Mom wouldn't have died. She's their friend. It's like Willow with Buffy. She's obviously going to help her out. Willow eventually realized that she needs to mind her own goddamn business. No, she didn't know that. She yes, became she evil. She, tur- she had black hair and black contacts. <laughs> That's never a good look, by right. the way. She decided- Willow made a big Willow- mistake. Willow chose Willow and went evil. Yeah. Right. And then learned from her mistakes and then turned mm. good again. Right. And then minded her own damn business. And I kind of feel like Bonnie, this whole darkness is going to overtake Bonnie, too. Well, because it was taken away from her. It okay. Was- so, guys, I need to get on the same page with this and maybe we'll skip <laughs> ahead a little bit. But when uh, Bonnie's grandmother came back, you know, mm-hmm. when she was going Granny. to save her grand, yes, of course, uh, was going to save Elena and the prison or the jail cell or whatever you want to call that freaky priest. The cattle ranch. Where he had him held up. Yeah, <laughs> uh-huh, exactly. Uh-huh. When, um, you know, she went in there to help her so she couldn't become a vampire and then her grand showed up and said, you can't be here. They're gonna punish you. Yada, yada, yada. yada. And then gets out and then she comes back a little bit later mm-hmm. and holds her hand and then her grand dies. Isn't her grand dead? Yes. Yeah, but she's in the spirit world of the Why did witches. they affect her? This is what I'm confused about. Well, because what what I'm taking from this is the grand basically the grand. <laughs> Granny uh-huh. basically uh-huh. is looking over uh, Bonnie. Right. And so I, I feel like in that situation she was taking all the negative and she was holding on to Bonnie because the witches were going to hurt her. We're going to hurt Bonnie. And Granny was just kind of holding on to her and taking all the negative so Bonnie would be safe. So that's something we could possibly see on I, So no, again, I don't think that's what happened. Because Gran happened? was saying, I can't let go. She was like, they won't let me. Gran said I think that. Were, and then Gran like was like, I think they may be taking our powers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Taking Gran's powers? No. Bonnie's. Gran's dead. Her powers are gone. No, no. I don't think Bonnie's powers will ever be gone. I think Bonnie is going to be a witch who I think she's going to be one of the great witches. And this kind is of, a show of predictions. We I have do. a lot to look forward to for we this do. season we do. because a lot of things are up in and the have, air. If you guys have seen the new promo pictures for this, no. mm-hmm. they all everyone lo- is like in these like I- icons. Like it looks like religious icons. And so they're really beautiful. Um and I kind of feel like Bonnie's is like really like a high priestess picture. Um, and uh, Jeremy's looks kind of warlocky. So I'm kind of mm, wondering. I think you're reading a lot into a promo photo. <laughs> sure am. <laughs> show enough. Oh, I love this show. You have to with Vampire Diaries because they'll give you one clip of something and then three seasons later it's Very like, true. you remember Pastor Young? <laughs> well, he's just knocking bitches down here at the, at the cattle ranch. <laughs> Absolutely. All of a sudden here's Pastor Young back. In the he's middle just... of Mystic Falls, it's a cattle ranch. I <laughs> mean, it's right before. outside Mystic Falls. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and you know, five minutes outside of this the black darkness that just consumes them. Granny's gone, and Bonnie's sitting here, probably blaming herself now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, she should. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm with you. But within it, she <laughs> saved Tyler and Close. Although we don't really right. know what happened with Tyler, because Tyler like got up and then he like kind of went back down again. And then that's when Granny was like holding her. But we right. see Close is fine. Right. Because right. he had his bag right. of blood right. at the right. end. Right. That's right. And he looked good. <laughs> his BOBs. Um, a bag of blood, then you know you're good. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, as far as Bonnie and this black magic situation, <sighs> I don't know. I'd rather see Bonnie go dark. Um, Do you want her to go dark against. Elena in them? Yes. Or? Why? Because I want her to, like, be find her own. her own. Yeah, be her own woman. I think that is going to come. I, I think I, it, I do feel I, that I way. I agree. I'm with you. I think that it's just... And she's been defending them for so long, and it's, we've kind of seen it coming. Yeah. Where she's she's been annoyed, mad at Elena. She hadn't talked with her for, I mean, how many episodes? Mm-hmm. She went on vacation or drove Jel- Jeremy to, you know, Ohio or something. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they go on their little hiatus. And I mean, I feel that she might. I feel. I think she might go dark. I'm gonna make a really small prediction okay. for the season. Okay. Okay. Um, I really think both Bonnie and Elena are gonna be like our big villains for the season. That's interesting. Because, I'll take it. Yeah. 
I, uh, right? I, like against each other. I'll take that prediction and raise you. I think Elena mm -hmm. is going to go a little dark during this season. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be interesting. I, I do think, well, here's my thing. And I hate to bring Twilight into it. I we, love we to bring sort it of into it. To. I mean, but, we have to. I mean, we, we look do. at Twilight. We uh, I, I'm, don't hate me, but I'm not a, I'm a big Twilight. Fan. You're not Twilight hard. I'm not. I'm a Buffy, but not Twilight hard. I agree. Um, so the female it. character in that, mm -hmm. Bella. Bella. Bella does not go bad. She's like one vampire that has a certain. So power I'm wondering that if Elaine is going to be like that because she is the doppelganger. So I'm wondering if the she doppelganger could, can kind of overpower it, that. It makes sense. Her character's already going toward that way that she's always been the peacemaker and the love and. Because it was that. interesting. When you're a new vampire, hmm. that she came and saved Matt. Mm -hmm. I thought rather than wanting to just rip heads off because that's what right? you feel. And, and what Carol I, and remembering what Caroline did when she first right. turned. I don't think that necessarily she's going to go as to a major villain or anything like Klaus. I think that she might have a little darker edge to her. Mm -hmm. And I you think know, it's going to affect Stefan. For food, a little blood hungry, if you will. Mm -hmm. Just not. A Bad. You know how on Vampire Diaries they yep. might kill some random every now and then and no one really cares because they're not part of the character. <laughs> they're not a main character on the show. So we just like, oh, you know, extra number three died. Who cares? You know, that kind of situation. I think that will probably be how, I, I'm down how for that. Her, no, yeah. I'm down for that. She might just kill some random. Like Bonnie did. Bonnie killed. Now, how, do you, think, how do you think that's going to affect uh, Stefan? In the relationship, because Stefan, remember, is like basically like an alcoholic. He's trying to keep away from the stuff, and now his new girlfriend is his gonna start going crazy. Slash old girlfriend, right. but his new vampire girlfriend. We have a okay. lot of predictions. Okay. I mean, we and have a lot of predictions. So That's what I'm saying. I we feel apologize like she, that we're mixing this you know, into the show. We but have to because it's the hello. first episode. And I'm sorry, we got dropped a huge bomb in the first episode. She is now a vampire. How right. can we not make predictions throughout the entire thing? We are just giddy with anticipation <laughs> of what it's going to do. I mean, the we've been waiting show. for this since oh, episode since one. Day one. Come on, cut the snip. <laughs> Let's get her being dead already, because she is quite frankly she is born. I am tired of but in Elena in the world of Vampire <gasps> Diaries. It's been like what a year? Yeah. No, it's longer than a year now. A year, like in three months? It's two, at least two years. I don't think it's two years. Yeah, it is. Uh -uh. No, I don't. Because the whole first season was six months, and the whole second season was another six months. Maybe Are it's been sure a year and that? a half. I think we might be coming on to two years. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, I think they're like. You guys are more than welcome to call in. Semester. I mean, there's no way you guys don't want to talk about this. I know, I mean, right? I know we're on late, so I don't know if you guys are catching us right now. But four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. Um, also, we know guys, you're up. we know you're up. You guys love us, and we love you so much. You guys watch us on YouTube all the time. And you guys listen to us on iTunes, and we really appreciate that. We need your help. We need you guys to help us get back to number one. So go to iTunes, find our podcast, download, rate, subscribe, and leave us a comment with your Twitter handle, and we'll Please. give you a shout-out. And tell us what you're thinking of the season. We'll talk about it uh, if you leave a little Twitter handle. Um, and guys, we're watching it right along with you. Yeah, literally, we, like we for, we literally missed the first <laughs> ten minutes because of being a blackout here at Afterbus. So we we're just watching it. So we love to see what you guys think and what you guys feel about yep. the episode. Live tweet us during the yeah, episode. Yeah, definitely. And we'll bring we it love up. It. And, and I know a lot of you. I'm gonna even talk about some complaints. All right, because with our fans, I'm gonna just bring them up. Bring sure, them up. why not? A lot of the times, you know, you uh, I know last year and it was our bad. We forgot Rose. We're literally watching this show and then jumping right on into this. And, I mean, when I tell you we are so giddy from, I mean, like, I, we couldn't wait to come watch this episode. Our heads are all over the place. We're coming on here live. And, I mean, at the end of the day, when you're done watching these episodes, there's five people you come to talk about. Stefan, Elena, Damon, Klaus, Bonnie. And Carolyn. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, but, Carolyn. but I'm saying she gets thrown in there. But these are the Sorry main the people. Carolyn. Uh, Car Carolyn. And the, these, these love triangles are just so juicy that it really... At the end of the day, I could sit here and talk about this whole episode about just the three of these guys. Yeah. This, this love triangle. It's what's going to carry this whole show... So I mean, sometimes we apologize for that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do better for you guys, um, but please call in four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. Call in, comment, leave us 
anything you can, and we will talk about it. Especially if you're watching us live and we forget to mention something. Yes, absolutely. That's <laughs> when you definitely should be calling in. Because, um, again, we're fans. You guys are fans. We're doing this with you guys. This is an interactive show, so please be interactive with us. Mm. Also, little news for you guys. What? Um, we're going to have some guests on the show. Very excited. What? Now, I know I kept saying... Kat Graham was going to come on the show last year. She uh -huh. was super busy because she was promoting her new CD and mm -hmm. music and everything. Mm -hmm. Right. How'd that go? But this girl, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But we're going to get her on the show and That's fun. someone else really big. I'm not going to put it out what? there. What? Not putting what? it out there yet. What? I'm not putting it out there yet. <laughs> I want to know. Do you know? Keep it a little. Don't well, say anything. Keep it, anything. Keep it a big surprise. Hi. <laughs> but um, also, we're going to get uh, Robert Richard from last season. He's going to uh, come join us on the show. Fun. So very excited that, for that. We have a lot of guests Absolutely. coming up That's this amazing. season. And, you know, one of our other fans complained about, I didn't bring cookies last season. I promised I was going to bring cookies. cookies. So I'm going to bring cookies this season. Cookies. Cookies I'm not going to tell you when. Why does a fan care about cookies? <laughs> he was very upset about the cookies. <laughs> they want to see cookies. The big surprise in the cookies. I'm surprised about? they're not more I bad. talked about that I was going to bring cookies, and uh, I did it for the season. Uh, screw, uh, screw cookies. Bring me champagne. Well, <laughs> we'll have champagne and cookies. <laughs> okay, Perfect. so. All right. Back, back to this. Yes, back actually. Show. Yes, because I'm really wanting to talk about, too. Um, Who do you want to talk about? Bring about Rebecca and her being you know, in the, in the cell. Mm -hmm. And not wanting to help them out, you know, Stefan and Elena, just At not first. right. That's that's what I want to talk about. You know, she's ugh, screw you guys. Rebecca is one of my favorite characters. Oh no, no, she's definitely grown on me. I remember last season, I wasn't a, so much. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. But she's grown on. But me. she's definitely growing on me, and um, I see now that she was mostly hard because of her brother Klaus. I feel like he's the one that made her so. Ruthless, well, and now that her brother and her are separating more, you can kind of see this heart growing on her. Even the way she felt about Matt, there's just a little. She's grown. She's gotten more lovable since last season to this season, and so. And this know. was our prediction from kidding. last season, if you guys remember. Yeah, I do. We all kind of predicted no. that she was going to be more on, you know, Team Elena, Stefan, Damon side versus Close. We, absolutely, and it first episode. Here he goes. I you mean, know. maybe Elena's got a new best friend. We'll I, see. Well, I don't want her. I want her and Caroline to be best friends. I just want the blondes to be like, yeah. I mean, so you actually said chance. something about that. You go, oh, here we go. The two blondes the two captured blondes in the together. very beginning of the I just want them to be ruthless together. I don't want Elaine to get a new friend. I want Elaine to work it out with Bonnie because I feel like yeah. they were best friends in the first, you know, the first season. I feel like it's these two girls are so lost. But they've grown so apart, I feel Right, like. but because they haven't had each other. I mean, at the end of the day, Bonnie still holds things against Elena. Right. As she should. And Elena's never really sat down and talked to Bonnie about these things. And that's it's like, because Elena's never sat down with Bonnie and been like, you know what? Thank you. Right. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Nobody sat down and been like, you know what, Bonnie? You've killed <laughs> like everything in your life. Like everything in your life has just gone to shit. And you know what? It's our fault. We're sorry, girl. We're going to throw you, you a party. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Pizza party for Bonnie. Well, I feel like they have. No. I mean, she's, they've mm -hmm. talked. I mean, she's like. She called and apologized when they took that separation or, well, because when Bonnie left, when her mom died. And then she felt terrible about it. But I feel like a phone call, like. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that phone call, she called her because she needed something. Yeah, and she did need <laughs> You know, She's it's like, always hey, I'm like. Sorry, your mom's dead. But can but. you just remember that spell you tried? <laughs> Very I need true. a sun ring. <laughs> <laughs> you busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that's the way this ended too. This episode with. <laughs> Wait, let's not talk about the rooftop yet. Let's okay, not talk about the rooftop yet. All right, because I'm dying too now. Let's uh, let's we go back to Rebecca. Let's go back to Rebecca. Oh, I'm not so, fine, right, fine. Rebecca is sitting in there and she's seeing uh, Stefan and Elena, and I think she really, you know, what I mean, just the soft spot in her. <sighs> seeing Elena tell Stefan, you know, I ch I chose you. At the end of the day, like. It was you. While she's dying. <laughs> and he's like, I'm smiling. She's like, I wish I could see you. I'm smiling. He was not smiling. And she's mm -hmm. like, I'm smiling. It's he like is. phone sex. <laughs> when you have phone sex. That's when Rebecca Not that I've ever had phone sex. Right, all of a sudden. <laughs> That's when Rebecca got on team Stefan yeah. and Elena. Because yeah. she saw that they loved each other. And they're they just both trying to make each other feel better. But I'm smiling right now. 
I'm crying right now or whatever she said. You know what I mean? Like that's when she saw. Well, and act, I mean, let's go back. I mean, she's known Stefan. So she's got kind of always seen. Oh, she's known. Oh, right. Yeah. She's known. So I feel like she, yeah. she knows what Stefan's mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. now and seen the drastic change. And with Elena, she got really close to Elena for a quick second and until Elena, Elena stabbed, her stabbed her literally stabbed her in the mm -hmm. back. Uh, I feel like now she's watching this like, okay, these are real people like... This is real love, and I loved the whole little, she called the guard in, scared him, he backed up, Stefan, like, beat his head against the pole, and then the dramatic, like, trying to reach for the blood. I kept thinking someone was going to step on her hand. I, I kept just saying thought her it. head was going to get stuck like, in between the like, who's going to step on her hand? They're gonna, someone's going to block her hand from getting the blood. Like, that was so dramatic. I just kept waiting for the interference. It was so dramatic because... Literally, the guy told the other guard, go get him and bring him in here. So you're just waiting. I mean, how long does that really take to yeah. drag a knocked out victim in here? Right. So, and that blood was creeping real slow. <laughs> <laughs> real slow. Real slow. So but all I she needed yeah, <laughs> was just a creeping TLC. on the pavement. Hey. I'm trying to get to Elena's hand. <laughs> so I creep. I can't. Um, so Elena gets that, mm -hmm. that, that little, it's like a yeah, finger. Well. Now go here's where us. we're going to go with it. Again, uh -huh. we always got to go with where they want to take us. We right. go there. We go there. Yeah. Um, Elena just apparently breaks out of jail. Free card. That's what right. I need to know. All right. No, I would have loved to have seen one, how. One thing we have to do here on After Buzz, especially with Vampire Diaries oh, with especially us. especially with this show. Is we have to talk about things like that as <laughs> yeah. much as we love this show. <laughs> What happened? Um, we have no. Where's that scene? Where's that scene where all of a sudden they're just all they're just out, no explanation, <laughs> not even a one liner. That Stefan says, "Thank God you're a new vampire. We would have never gotten out of there. Just that would have sufficed. Strength. Made me feel better about the whole situation. <coughs> all of a sudden, she jumps on Damon like, "Leave Matt alone." They're like, just Whoa. All, oh, they're red with eyes. red eyes. Like, oh, oh, how'd you get out? Where's that vervain? Did you need to drink where, more blood where, to where, where get are those, that strength? Where are those vervain misters all of a sudden? <laughs> like, all of a sudden, she's just like Godzilla a vampire. They can just get out of anything, and everyone's out. Like, th that that was a little, eh. I wasn't too happy about that. I wanted to see it or have a one-liner explanation and get back to the plot. Again, Vampire Diaries, you just got to go with it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. part of me is kind of... I love that the writers could put in a joke about right. crossing the bridge. They could fit that in with Elena about saying, I can't believe I just said cross the bridge. <laughs> but you couldn't show us how but she gets out of the But you couldn't explain how. Because they spent 10 minutes on that of her laughing and then crying. <laughs> that awkward laugh. Like, let's, <laughs> let's get back to how, yeah, let's, less of egg, ugly crying and more uh -huh. of how the heck did you get out of the uh, uh -huh. pastor crazy's um, cage. So and she, where was he this whole time? Yeah, he was. Uh, right? he, he had lunch. Yeah, break. where was pa the pastor? Pastor, it's all pastor, his plan and he's pastor Young had a sermon. Guys. Oh no, no, you know where he? Oh. It maybe Excuse because me. he was. He had to found the whole council to bring them back to the cattle ranch. So maybe those he was. Were out not the council. No, looking he, was, for them. he was planning his Some sermon Some of those were the, were the council. Okay. I remember like three of them from town There's meetings. No black founding. Family. Yes, there was. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't remember no black founding. Um, not to be racist. But I so don't intend to be. Elena, after Godzilla's strength, comes running out, jumps on Damon because Damon thought he would be smart and bring poor Matt. <laughs> like we just need Matt off the show or marry him to like a poor, like a beautiful little girl and like, let let's him just... become supernatural too or something. Can he become no. psychic? That'd be fun. Let's just make Matt psychic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can like, see the future. And they're like, we need to keep Matt But then we, we literally don't have one normal person on the show. Th yeah. That's Jeremy. fine. I think Matt No, is... Jeremy can see ghosts. Not anymore. That's when was the last time he saw a ghost? Alluric? Alluric's not dead. Yes, he is. What? Hello. Died yeah, last, last season. season. <laughs> it was six months ago. Okay, he's Sorry. dead. It's and a long he time. can still see dead people. But... I thought Alaric was a vampire. He's right, like Haley, he Haley Joe Osmond. No. He died. The Sixth Sense. He can see that. I need you to remember that. I do not. Because I, I thought if he died, Elena died. Right, because Elena died and then became a vampire. 
Yeah. Oh, right. All right. That's, we're we're, we're okay. together. I got it. I got right. you. I got you. That, that's what six months does to you, people. <laughs> that's that's Vampire Diaries. Keep Get more up to date with your shows. Yeah. That's what happens. Agreed. We need the reruns. Well, we don't, we ne- well Netflix that. has them all. Yeah. So Luckily. if you guys want to go back and refresh yourself, <laughs> have to. Netflix. Um, is I Netflix had to. sponsoring us? I'm not giving Netflix. You need I am because <laughs> they sponsored me when I needed to catch up on my Vampire there Diaries. There you go. And right. there you so, have it. They get a free one from me. Um, so, yes, now we have everybody back together. Yeah. Elena tells Damon that she remembers everything, especially how they first met. And Damon wanted Elena to have the life she always wanted for her herself. He wants her to grow up. He says that he's selfish and he doesn't care about Matt's life. Now, here's my well, question for you guys. Uh-huh. I love this part. What's the bigger play? Elena wanted to save Matt because she, Elena always feels like she drags people into her situations. So do we think that that's respectable of, of Stefan to, you know, listen to Elena and save Matt? Or do we think it's respectable of Damon wanting to give Elena this life? And who knows how long that she would have this life? Here's my question. Okay. Now, forget well, romance and lust and who's no, hotter. No, no, no. Honest. I want someone to save me. I no. want to live. I know what you want, but <laughs> Elena, think of this situation. Okay, What's the I'm better? I'm thinking of this situation. Okay. Why, Stefan being a centuries-old vampire, could he not just save both of them? Uh, yeah. He doesn't need to breathe oh, underwater. I, here we go. Here we go. Watch this. One, two. <laughs> Pull up, Super swim. vampire strength. Like, yeah. Like, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, swim up the door. I mean, why did anyone why have to die? Why can't he save both of them? <laughs> well, that's, that's why I was confused. I mean, I get it. Up. It's the show, and we have to go with it. But I'm with you. They can do all kinds of crazy superpower strength. And all he, of a sudden, he can't breathe but underwater. Is that what? Is that a vampire weakness? Oh, underwater, you're human? <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're, you have extraordinary strength as soon as you're on top of the water. As soon as you're underwater, all bets are off. You're holding breath just like the rest of us with just normal, like, normal strength. Look, that, normal that, again. That seatbelt seat seat will not come off underwater just like in real life. Or that window can't be busted out. No, I'm with you. I think that's a very good point. We're just going to go with it. And okay, so we're going to go with it, but I will say that I do think that me personally as a girl and just someone, I love the fact that yeah, how could it not pull on your heartstrings that someone's going to save you no matter what? They don't no, care that's about hot. anybody that's like, else. I like, think it's... They're, they're, and I understand she's like, well, they, Matt would not be here, and she loves loves Matt like a brother, even though they used to you know, probably bang. But she loves Matt. But because that means... she thinks that that is, wow, if, you, if it would not have been you, Stefan, Matt would be dead. Right, but think if Matt was Jeremy. Damon would have saved Elena, and Elena would never have her brother. Ma- right. D- Damon's but, killed Jeremy. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Many times. You had to think about, uh, Stefan knew that she had v- vampire blood in her system. Mm. So he Ooh, maybe clearly maybe he was, was like, like, all right, well, even I if she dies, wanna... she's not really dying. And if we do die, then we get to spend eternity together. Right. I'll take it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The plot thickens on Vampire Diaries. Um, all right, so before we Matt. jump into predictions, let's talk about this rooftop. Uh. Um, they talk about Ray, uh, Damon has a revenge plan, which we'll totally bring up in predictions. Mm-hmm. Um, Stefan's worried about Elena craving... Bl- Actually, you know what? With that rooftop, because there are just keynotes, let's just go into predictions. Because okay. we have a lot to predict. We do. And let's just start with the rooftop. rooftop. And now, you're after Buzz TV. Predictions. All right, now we didn't have a prediction show, so bear with us. We're going to just give you a mini prediction show right here. Okay. Damon's revenge plan. Right. Do we think he's really going to be pissed about this? Who's he going to be mad at? Who's who, who, the revenge? Who is, he, who is he seeking revenge on? I don't well, think he's... I mean, that's what Stefan said. Bro. Right. I don't, I, don't, I don't get who he's seeking No, on. I think that what he means is from him being hurt that she chose... Stefan, so uh, he's gonna go on one of his rants. Not a revenge, just one of his bad boy like rants. Like he's gonna prove something. Where he's or... gotta just be just be against everyone and kill whoever he wants, like just to prove he's a bad boy again. Do you think Catherine's gonna come back? I hope not. I'm actually done with Catherine. No, 
I love her. I'm Especially done. now that Elaine is a vampire, it's gonna be very well, interesting. Well, you know what? Then I gotta see. Cause I gotta see how this is all gonna play out. Before I was so sick of Catherine always coming in and out and being the vampire. Now that there's two, maybe so. Maybe and now I'm we can wrong. put him with, with Ste her with Ste uh, Damon. And I mean, like, look, they're both vampires now. Couple. Just go for it. Be friends. Get over all Something the bad Something else work. is probably going to come up that now that there's two vampires that are that look exactly the same, you can like break oh. some certain spell if you kill Something them both. Something is definitely like... going to come up. <laughs> Something's coming up. We know it. Elena's still the key to something. You get them both together in the same room on, the, oh. on a certain night with the with the moon and like a rock. I just meant and something a piece else. Of paper. It's definitely coming up. And so not, Julie yeah. Pleck, I read that um, where uh, Stefan was also worried about Elena craving blood. Yeah. Now let's go back to last season where Stefan played that like alcoholic role with, yeah. when it came to blood. He's gonna have to go through this with Elena. That's gonna be hard for him because Elena's gonna want to kill and just. I don't think that's gonna happen. I feel like they're gonna like the next episode is gonna be like six weeks later, and she's gonna be like, I feel great. Really? Because next week it looked like she had was craving blood. She can be Did craving it? blood, but I don't think that it's going to be... Um, <laughs> well, even not. Bella from Twilight has to have blood. I don't think that's ever going to go away. That's your vampire. You're going to crave blood. I think that they're a dark side of her if they do decide to bring that out, which I hope they do. I mean, they have to. They want to like, keep the show going. What if they made going. her and Stefan bad again? Well, I think that's going to come later on. Not right now. I think you now it's going to be all about mm -hmm. her adjusting, to being finding a blood, trying to get blood that's not killing someone. Maybe it will. Maybe and it will. then all of a sudden, Elaine is uh, okay with being a vampire at the yeah. end of the episode. She's like, you know what? I'm going to get to live. I'm going to get to be a sister. I'm going to get to be a friend. I'm going to get to okay, can I just <laughs> live say with you forever her. if I want to. If I and want to. Look, uh, and Vampire Elena has jokes, huh? Yeah. I, but, she's like, if I, but, she was, but that was not, not, not a joke. She's like, if I want to. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, whoa, for real, though. I mean, she's like, I, mean, so I get to be with you forever if I want to. Well, think what? about it. Okay, but hold on. Forever's a long ass. Do you remember the end? Let's or in the honest. very beginning so of the good. guys, in the very beginning of the episode, she said, you know, I don't want to be a vampire. And then, you know, saying, and the worst thing could happen is you're a vampire. You know, that was so bad in the very beginning when she had the blood in her. Mm -hmm. Toward the end, when she was dying, she's like, I was, or in the very beginning, I was prepared to die. I wanted to die. You know, and she was saying that. Mm -hmm. Then at the end, when she was dying and when it was coming down to brass tacks, she sure was reaching for that blood. She, <laughs> that's true. She, she did, Remember, up. she wanted to die more than she would become a vampire. Yep. She was ready to call it quits. I will just be dead. It's my time. It's my time to go in the beginning. That's what she was basically saying. Toward the end, that blood couldn't get here, close enough. <laughs> I mean, she's... Ah! Hey, everyone, it's real easy to say you're ready to go until you're dying. Right. And you're reaching for the blood. <laughs> so I thought that was a little amusing. Um, Bonnie made her a daylight ring. That was thoughtful of Bonnie. Yesterday. She made it yesterday. Um, right. Just yesterday. happened. Just in case. You know, just pop that We one. made it. Yo. And Stefan had it. And, because and, I, and she gave it to Stefan. We had to talk about that, guys. That's what yeah. I was laughing about. Like, oh. And it's such like, I gotta get in... I gotta get in the house. The sun's coming up. Oh, here, look. Bonnie made you this ring. <laughs> they, at least they explained it. They Right? At least he just didn't pull a ring out like, oh, I got this from my mom, you know, when I was 12. Like, <laughs> you know, or just something, they just pull out a ring or just assume where it came from. Or just so, they have an endless supply of these rings. they could have started the shot, like, close up on her hand and she's wearing a ring and then we just supposed assume. to assume. Which is what I would have actually room. preferred because I feel like when she was in that cage... I kind of feel like the light was still beaming on them a little but bit. But she hadn't transitioned yet. That's true. Um, what do we think? Uh, the pastor has the council in his cattle ranch and blows them and up. And blows them all up. Yeah, he starts that fire. What's going on with that? Now, them? a Twitter follower hey. sent me something and said, do we think that he's going to come Twitter back follower? as a ghost? Don't hate me. I'll, when you give me your opinion, I'm going to give him a shout out. Okay. okay. I think there's something else going on. I don't think he's coming back as a ghost. No? You no. think that was like a sacrifice thing? I think he's coming back as a vampire. Uh, really? Shout out to Tweets at t About TV. Tweets About TV. Hmm. He said, do you think the priest will come back as a ghost? Which I don't know how you knew that so early on in the day. I mean, Please I give me. it to you. Um, what's his name again? Tw tweets uh, tweets TV. About, TV. about TV. Tweets About TV. I mean, that's a... My mind never went there. I thought he's just a crazy lunatic. He's just burning his followers. I mean, obviously, there's some kind of thing. Because he did say we'll see each other. Right, we'll see each other on the other, other side. Well, maybe he's come back as a ghost. 
Maybe. Yeah, How can he hurt as a ghost? Open. Jeremy. That's a great thing about this show. Um, Who knows? Yeah, right, and it'll come back somehow. It's somehow, some way. Oh, but season five. But we do know that we have not <laughs> no, seen th the last of Pastor Young. No, no, no. no, no. no. I no. think season four is going to be all about Pastor Young. At least the first half. True. Oh, we're. I mean, oh, we know he's... we know that his daughter is going to come into into play. All right, April. Oh, yeah. next oh. episode two. We're seeing Pastor Young. I mean, we're um, about to get this answered. I'm sure. Also, Bonnie. Now I heard, heard it through Did the grapevine. I heard, I get scared. I was gonna, heard, I get scared. Um, episode four, we're gonna get a uh, little something. Okay. Bonnie's gonna meet a new mentor. Okay. A um, new mentor. Do you think it's gonna be that witch that was helping Catherine? Nope, but that would be cool if it was. But I don't. Th I think it's gonna be someone new. Because, because you remember, know how Vampire Diaries just loves to throw new people in. I know, but remember how back. Hence why we didn't know Rose. God forbid, <laughs> we forgot Rose. I don't even know who Rose is. <laughs> don't so, do that. I still don't know who Rose is. Yes, you so, do. Yes. No, I don't. <laughs> Later, one Damon me. was in love with. The man. All right, but go oh, ahead. All right, yeah. she died. Okay. Right. Okay. I can't. I remember. Remember when Catherine had that witch and they were like, Bonnie had them trapped in the room? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're... I don't think it's going to be her, though. And she was like, we're related. Mm -hmm. And she'll be like, I'll be seeing you again. And we never saw her again. <laughs> I don't... I, 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 there have been a few people that I've often thought that about. <laughs> and it's just... But they... A lot of other people have not said, or have, or I'll have see died. you again. That's true. And I'm she sure specifically we'll said, again. I'll be seeing you again. Could be. And to this day. I kind of feel like it might be a man, though. I don't I know why I feel like that, but I feel like I'm waiting for a man, a, a warlock or something Another different. One? Yeah, but one that's going to kind of be essential and actually stick around. Instrumental. Hmm. Because I thought it was interesting when the other two warlocks were involved. Yeah. And then I they just kind of got rid of that. that. Right. Yeah. And Rebecca, what do we think's going on with her? I think she's joining, like, she's done. this, like, little family. She yeah. squeezed those bag of blood. She she's against her brother. It's done. Yeah. I'm excited. She's on She's on our side. And close. I think just he, he's going to be gone for a while. A minute. I, I want no. Klaus to go on vacation for a bit. Yeah. I, I'm not done with him. I like him in the show, but okay. You, you've it's been you had like, a whole season about well, you. Well, spoiler, but rumor has it that he's going to change his ways maybe and kind of try to come back for We Carolyn. talked about that last season as well, yeah. him joining the good side. Yep. So character adjustment maybe. All right, I'm excited. Oh, to, I'm excited. I, can't. I mean, just so many emotions today from uh, watching this to just getting to watch it to being back in the studio Cheers after all these months. Cheers. 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 Cheers to Vampire Salud. Diaries being back. Thank you guys for bearing in, uh, bearing in there with us. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Bearing with us. Uh, we want to thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, help us out on iTunes. Leave us a comment. Subscribe, rate, download. Leave us a comment with your Twitter name. Uh, make sure you guys are tuning in to after Buzz, we have all the new fall show lineup. Um, Vampire Diaries, Fox New Tuesdays. We got it all. It's all It's all here. Nashville. Oh, yeah. Exciting. Oh, Nashville. Follow I us on Twitter, Instagram, because After Buzz has an Instagram now. Oh. At After Buzz TV, yes. Interesting. You can follow me on Twitter at DJ Jesse J. You can follow me at You Can Call Me Skiff. The letter U can call me S K I F F. And you can follow me at, at Brittany Brower. Yes, until next week, same time, same place. Peace. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.